afternoon. How y'all doing? I hope all is well in your world. I'm gonna cook supper tonight. I cook supper every night, but I decided I would film this for y'all. So, we're gonna have fried squash with, I'm gonna fry it up and use some beer batter. And I sent the hubby out to get a beer because we don't just normally have that around. Um, this is a squash that comes from Mexico. It's called, I don't know how you say that, but there you go. Anyway, I usually buy whatever is in season. Yellow, zucchini, this squash, whatever squash, and fry it up. So, I've got most of it cut up now. We're also going to have some cornbread, and if I was in an area where it was really cool, I would cook my cornbread over the campfire. However, I'm not, so it's going to go in the New Wave oven, because that's cooler than starting the big oven. If uh, we were in a cool place and it was too cold to cook outside, I would cook it in the oven, in my cast iron pan, but it's going in the New Wave tonight. We're also going to have navy beans that I'm going to fix in the um, power pressure cooker and ham. I'm going to put a slab of ham in there. Alright, so let's get this show on the road. Oh, I forgot. i got to put my apron on because I will make a mess. Alright. And somebody asked me the other day, how come I wear a hat? Well, it's better than wearing a hair net. I don't, I don't want to get food, a hair in my food. And uh, that's one of my pet peeves, so I wear a hat. Y'all like it? Brand new hat. I like it. Route 66. All right. Oh, a little trick before we get started. I had some eggs that are... Uh, on the verge of expiring. So what you do is you put them in a, some water and if they stand up it's good. This one is good. Woohoo! Okay. Let's turn y'all around here just a little bit. There you go. Let's move that out of the way. Alright, let's see this one. Oh yeah. Alright. Sweet. Okay, we'll make the cornbread first. Cornbread, chippy! All right, here we go. We are going to do, now I'm gonna make this in the new wave oven. So, one pack of the cornbread, one egg, and a third of a cup of milk. And I use two packs, cause we like our cornbread thick. Oh, if you hear some clinking going on, I'm also making ice. I've got an ice maker under the sink here. That'll be two eggs and two-thirds of a cup of milk. And we'll go ahead and put the milk in first. Oh, and another, another little tip. Uh, I keep the packaged milk that you can keep in the pantry forever and ever in the pantry. So if I run out, I got it. Alright. Two thirds. Okay. Put that in there. See, this is almost gone. not going to be, um, if I think it's going to be too thick, I'll put some more milk in it. Because you don't want dry cornbread. Hi, 
How many of y'all have ever had cornbread and milk? Yeah, leftover cornbread, put it in a glass, crumble it up, some milk on top, or in the glass. Oh my gosh, it's heavenly. Some people eat it like sugar, like cereal. They'll put sugar on it and all that good stuff. I don't, I don't do that. This wants to be some lumpy cornbread, dang it. Okay, got the cornbread in here, and I'm going to set it for 12 minutes to begin with. So cook time, 12, and start. And then we'll check it, and if it looks like it's getting too brown on top, I'll put some foil on there so that it won't, it won't burn. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to do the beans. So, quarter cup of dry. So, I'm going to do what? We'll say a cup and a half. Okay, that should be plenty. We'll have leftovers. I love having leftovers. Alright. And of course, I'm going to wash these. One and a half. Let me get my strainer here. Wash them. There we go. Those in the pot. Water. They've got to put water in it. Uh, filtered water. I put. Hmm put butter in mine. <laughs> I'm almost out of butter, but I'm going to put in eh, about two tablespoons. Okay. Got to save some for the cornbread. Yeah. The cornbread is looking really, really nice. Awesome. So I got my beans in there, and it only takes like three minutes to cook the beans from dry. But I am going to put this ham right on top. Yep, juices and all. Mm-hmm. That tastes really good. Let's put the lid on this one. Okay. And you set it for uh, just that. So I put it on for four minutes. All right, let's check on this cornbread. All right, let's pull this off. Check it. I'm not sure it's done yet. It's probably still soft in the middle. And if it is, I'm going to add three minutes to it. Okay, let's see. It's a little wet, but it seems to be okay. Cool. All right, I'm gonna do it for three minutes anyway. Okay, and I'm gonna leave the lid on this crack just a little bit so that it can um, get a little crispy on top. Okay, cook time, three, start. Now I'm gonna get my pan ready to boot to do my fried squash. So I'll put about, I don't know, about that much oil in there. I know a lot of people don't like navy beans, but you know what? They're a good source of fiber. And ham, ham is just good anyway. Turn this around this way. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna start this until these are done because that'll stay warm. It's got a warm setting. It'll be fine until dinner. And then I can just do the squash. And the cornbread, it'll be fine too. So, this whole meal, 
prep time is probably the longest part, but uh, I don't know what that was. The whole thing probably takes about, I don't know, 30 minutes, maybe. And I may not use all this batter, but it'll be good for tomorrow too. Okay. Let's see here. Got to put a beer in it. And the cornbread is done. Done, done. Yay. Yep, we're in our room here, folks. That's okay. We'll have a great meal tonight. Oh, yeah. Ah, some good looking cornbread. All right. Okay. Cornbread is done. It'll stay right there and be just fine. Okay. Sweet. Better for the squash. Gotta have a handy dandy can opener. Open your beer up. Ooh, bubbles. Stir it up some. Don't want it too thick, but you want it just thick enough. Kind of like pancake batter. Mm -hmm. Some good looking batter, let's see. Turn the light on so we can see, huh? Starting to get a little dark outside of this. Okay, that looks really good. That's perfect. Beans are done, but I've taken a spoon and I just tilted the little pressure switch up just a little bit so the steam is coming off some. And that way I don't have to wait and wait and wait. But uh, this is safe. And it'll eventually steam off because it doesn't have but about a cup and a half of water in it. So it should be okay. Let's check out these beans. Alright. Ooh, the ham looks really good. See there? The ham looks great. It was fully cooked, so all it really needed was to, to uh, heat up. So why not put it in the pan? Put it in the pot with the beans. And those do not look done, folks. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. Uh -uh. Those are not done. No way. Paperwork says that it would be done in four minutes. Wrong. So, let's put the lid back on it. pressure switch thing right back over here where it needs to be and we're going to put it on for oh, cancel I'm gonna put it on I'm gonna adjust this time it says beans five minutes but oh hold on gotta cancel okay this says beans five minutes but I'm gonna adjust it and make it eight minutes Hopefully they won't be like refried beans. <laughs> well, poo. This is the first time I've ever have cooked dried beans in the power pressure cooker. So, I've done it now for what? Four, eight, so 16, yeah, 12. <laughs> 12 minutes, so. I am going to put them on, let's see, how much is soup? I'm going to put them on the soup setting, and that's for 10 minutes. So let's hope that works. i tell you what, these are some stubborn beans right here. They're almost there, but not quite. Let's see here. Uh-oh. I believe they're done. Mm-mm. Nope. I felt a crunchy one. Mm. Nope. 
a little bit longer. I did that for 10 minutes. We had 12 minutes before. So that's tw 22 minutes. Okay. So what do y'all think? I think I should cook them. I want to make sure they're done. So I'm going to do them on the soup stew setting for 10 more minutes. Here we go. Let's check these beans again. Oh, I believe they're done this time. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See, they're all plump. Mm-hmm. Okay. As you can see, too much water in there. So, I'm going to put some cornstarch in there. So, I took two spoonfuls these. Put it in a little bit of water here, and I'm going to pour that in there. And what that'll do is it'll thicken it up. Oh, these are going to be nice. Yep, let them sit for a little bit. There you go. So, I guess it's my fault that uh, I didn't know how to do these. But, trial and error, that's how you learn. So now I know it takes 32 minutes to cook uh, navy beans or pinto beans or whatever beans in the pot. I'm heating the oil up. I turn my pot around because, um, you know, it's got a digital panel on it and I don't want to ruin my pot. So, and this right here is how come I wear an apron. I believe the oil is hot enough, so I'm going to put about six or so in here. Hmm, I might only get five in here. Okay, then I'm going to take my cover cover it and let it cook there for about oh, three to five minutes on on the one side and then I'll flip them over and let them cook for three to five minutes on the other and then we'll have some fried squash time to pick the squash out of the pan look how golden brown that is Ooh, yes very nice very nice indeed oh I love me some fried squash. Okay, I'm gonna put another couple batches in and we'll be eating dinner. Childers is gonna dig in. Yes. Tell us how good it is. Mm -hmm. It's always good. Mm, good. Okay. Right. How about them beans? Mm -hmm. Hard had a hard time getting those cooked. Mm-hmm. All right. Now that, folks, is a good southern meal.